Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtus, Tosca and other Tricentis product, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that the content will reach to more people who are using Tosca, Qtus and other tools. Right, without further delay, let's get started to actual topic. Today we are going to see how we can automate barcode, QR code in your PDF file using Tricentis Tosca. This is the latest feature of Tosca which is introduced in 2024.1 version. Again, as part of 2024.1, Tricentis Tosca introduced many features, many critical features, which is also including enablement of Tosca Cloud, like connecting and uploading your existing Tosca test cases to the Tosca Cloud as well. I have already uploaded video about that please go and check that video as well, which will be useful for you. Right, we'll go into actual topic, how we can convert or create test cases for your barcode and QR code validation. Right. As part of 2024.1, Tosca introduced additional standard modules, specifically in PDF engine to enable this automation. So if you come to your existing standard modules, you need to re-import the latest standard subset from the 2024.1 to get these additional modules for your workspace or repository, right? So if you scroll down to engines, PDF, and you will see an additional module called barcode reader, which is the module will be used here to um, automate your existing QR or barcode in your PDF files, right? How, now we'll see how we can use this module in your test case and what and all verification you can do with the help of this module. So this was a module that I have already pulled it to valid test cases now. Now I'm going to first demonstrate how you can verify or buffer your barcode from your PDF file, right? The first step, first test step explains uh, what is a PDF file that you are automating? I am having a PDF file called barcode in my C location and that's what I'm going to automate now. So let me show you the PDF file as well. So this is the PDF file that I'm going to automate. So this PDF file contains a barcode and I'm going to verify this barcode and I'm going to buffer this barcode value as well for further verification in my automation lifecycle, right? The first step, so in PDF file module attribute, you need to give the exact absolute path of the PDF file. Again, in barcode section, you have a couple of options in your type. Either you can choose barcode or QR code based on your condition. Now for this test case, I'm choosing barcode. If you choose all, then it will look for what are all barcode, QR code that you have, and it will automatically select based on the image you have uh, or the exact code you have in your PDF file, right? I'm just choose, choosing barcode now. Again, this page refers to in which page you are going to do your validation. You have a uh, option like you have give your page number. You can give first page, last page, something like that. You can also mention the index, what index, uh, whether the second barcode or third part code that I want to verify, all those options you can mention. These are all optional parameters, right? The actual value will contain what is the value you want to verify. This barcode, specific barcode is containing this value, ABC, ABC, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to verify that now, right? You have a couple of options here. You can do either verify or buffer action modes. If you use buffer as usual, it will buffer the value available from the barcode. Now I'm just going to verify this, whether it contains proper value or not. Now I'm running this in my barcode. Once I do that, you can see that the scratch book execution is passed now. The verification was successful with the actual value versus expected value. Right. Now I'm going to tweak a little bit of the value to one, two, three, four, five, which should throw an error message now. Let me execute this. So the moment I execute that it failed, it gives me a verification failure saying that expected value is not matching with actual value, right? 
that's how the barcode automation you can do the next step explains how you can buffer the value same file pdf file i'm using so instead of verify action mode i'm just using buffer action mode where i'm buffering the actual buffer uh, barcode value into barcode value i'm just going to execute this I'm just running this now so it, the execution is complete and now now we can see that the buffer is saved with the value abc abc 1 2 3 4 the correct value is stored into the buffer variable right that's how you need to do barcode automation let's jump into the qr code now in similar way you need to mention your pdf file now assume that this is a pdf file i'm going to use this has a couple of qr code generated qr code image 1 and in the next page i have the image 2 of the qr code which contains different contents first qr code contains this content this is for testing purpose to validate qr content second qr code contains this text actually so let let me validate with various conditions using tricentis tosca right under barcode I'm going to uh, give the type as QR now. And the first time I'm going to uh, validate the first image, first QR code. And uh, as I said, the content was, this is for testing purpose, well, to validate QR content. That's what I'm validating here now. I'm going to execute this now. The verification, let me give a minute. The verification was failed. And it says expected value. This is for testing purpose to validate QR content. Actual values, the QR content. Uh, it it adds up the two uh, QR code images that we have in your uh, in your PDF file, right? Let me go to uh, test case once again. So I'm gonna trim this little bit now. Uh, since if, if you don't give any page or index, the Tricentis Tosca will read the entire PDF file, entire QR code that is all, all, already there in your PDF file. So it has two QR code now, but in the verification part, I have given content for only one. That's the reason it was failed. So now I'm going to initiate the page number. I'm going to give us page number one. In page number one, I have only one QR code. So let me execute this now. Now it will get passed. The execution is happening now. Now the scratch book execution was passed, saying that the expected value is matching with the actual value. Right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to validate the next scenario. Just initiating, just changing the content. Now I'm going to validate the second qr code right and i'm gonna say the index equal to two and i'm gonna remove the page number now so it will validate second image in my pdf file with this content for the qr code i'm just running this now the verification has passed now you can see scratch book is containing the pass result right so that's how you need to use your um, page number and index wisely now you have a situation where you need to validate both the content right in that case what you need to do you need to give both the con content in your value for the verification so that you can do verification in a single time you have two options now either you can add another barcode type same thing and you can validate that using index or page number or you can together you can give the value uh, with the sample values right the first image let me go to notepad first image is containing this text i'm just copying this now deleting all existing content copy it now right you can see that now i'm gonna copy the second image second qr code content just shift enter entering new line and then pasting this now this contains whenever you are validating 
uh, more than one uh, barcode or QR code, you need to give value in a new line. Shift enter will make the new line. So you can combine all the all your existing QR code value here with a new line and you can do your verification now. So I'm going to remove this index since it will validate all my QR code. I'm going to initiate validation now run in scratch book. Right, the verification has passed now. The execution results is processing. Right, you can see that now. The verification passed for the both the content expected matching with the actual in this specific QR code values. Right, that's how you need to do your uh, actual verification in your uh, QR code and barcode in your PDF file. That's all for the day I have. Please share this video to your friends across and subscribe the channel once again. Thank you all.